That was a whiff. <laughs> Maybe a bit squirrel. Yes. And then the second number is the damage. Um... I have that's all right it's fine I understand you guys are crazy okay so Okay, sorry. Okay, who was streaming today? I don't remember. Me, Monument, Zip. Aqua. For Streamlabs, it depends on how you're using it. So are you using like a, um, are you a two PC or are you a single PC? Single? Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your microphone in, um, actually, it shouldn't be picking up your It shouldn't be picking up your microphone and Discord on your, your stream. Oh. You can also do like... Yeah, I was going to say, my multi, my multi twitch was frozen for some reason. Hello. You're still rowhead. All right, let's fix that. Release James Bam. Save. Okay, everyone should be their name on the side. Um, my multi's Twitch thing is being weird. Um, zip thirty six. Bit. 
You know, I, I attempted to keep my dogs occupied by giving them frozen carrots, and they've already eaten them. One of my dogs is allergic to peanut butter, so they can't have peanut butter. Not this one, but the other big dog is allergic to soy, which is in most peanut butter. You know, you're in the way. <laughs> Stop licking me. It's fine. You're fine. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only woman in the stream, but like, seriously. <laughs> That's okay. I am as well. That's fine. All right. You do not need to be in my lap, Hobbit. Chill out. <laughs> I don't know why it's accidentally re-rolling for me. Sorry. That's me. It was an accident. Okay, how do I? Oh, good Lord. That was um, very interesting. That was not what I was expecting. Not at all. <laughs> That's weird. I wonder why. I'm sorry. Um, okay. All right. So, once upon a time in a land far away. I'm just kidding. Yes. Why are we waiting? What's going on? Okay. Um,. Okay, so when you, when you pull up your, when you double click and, and open your, your character sheet, right, you should see strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma, and a whole bunch of other things, right? So if you click on, say, if, say I need you to do something 
that requires a strength check, like you're pushing a boulder. I will have you click on strength and it'll be an ability check. What it'll do is it'll bring up a little icon and you can do ability. So like someone just rolled an eight. Um, but because he's got a plus, it's an 11. Whereas if I were to roll for Dill Mellows right now, he rolled a 15, but he got a 13. Um, the same would be happen if, say, you're trying to investigate something, and I want you to roll investigation. You will click investigation, and it'll roll it for you. It'll add your modifiers over to the side and stuff like that. Um, when I have you do initiative, that's also on your screen. You can just click initiative. Um, now say you guys come up on someone, like y'all snuck up on someone, so I'm giving you an initiative with advantage. You can click advantage and it'll roll to do two d20s and give me the top roll. So like right there, Dill gets 11 for his initiative. Um, you should. It'll be on the far right side underneath the proficiency. When you double. Okay. I understand. Yes. Um, we need to go through your character sheet. Um, yes, you do. You still have a, a box. Um, so. <laughs> um, hi, Hobbit. I know, baby. We're I'm having fun without you. I know. I know. Stop. How dare we have too much fun without the puppers? Um, if you need to do, if you're wanting to do any kind of like, oh, hey, I should know this. Well, do you really? I'm going to have you roll, roll a, a dice and I'm going to tell you what to roll. You just click on it. It tells me what happened, what, what you rolled. And then based on that roll, I will tell you what happens, whether you actually know the thing or whether you don't know the thing. Um, so you should be able to just roll a dice just because you want to, but typically you would just click on what you're trying to roll. So say you're wanting to roll strength to grapple zip just because it would be an ability throw. <laughs> so like Dill would get an 11. I would have zip then roll his own strength to counter the grapple. And it'll show up. <coughs> Hush. On the screen. <coughs> okay. Um, do you have your character sheet up? Okay. So, <coughs> I'm so sorry. Hush. Um, I think you can. But I would just click on the thing you're wanting to roll. <coughs> yeah. Um, okay, do you have um, my stream up? I've got your character sheet up. <laughs> That's, it's fine. It doesn't matter. That's fine. That's fine. Um, Okay. <laughs> it's okay. All A's. Ah. Uh, oh. 
Oh, we got a 15 from uh, from Hawk. So once you've got the stream up um, from your, your character sheet here, you can click on the word strength and do like ability check, I zip. Okay, then if you're wanting to do like, like an attack, is that what you mean? Okay, so we would go into inventory. You'd find whichever one you're wanting to use. You click on the picture, it turns into a D20 and it rolls it for you. There you go. Yay! So yeah, that's how you would do, um, Hi, nightmares. <laughs> Hobbit, what are you doing? Here, is this what you want? Here. It's like multi twitch live, right? get it to work so I'm just gonna <laughs> it's gonna always be a mess what are you talking about Yes. So, um, yeah. So I'm like throwing everybody right now into a combat so we can do a small combat encounter. So I'm just going to pitch you all over here and then hi jams. I was going to have that all met up done this morning and so you can right click and pull it around. And just because it can't good. Here we go. We're going to do a goat, a spider, and an octopus. So, at this point... Yep. So... I was just going to say that, honestly, all I do is I ask you guys to roll initiative. Now, I did forget something. Um, in the top left hand, you'll see the, you know, the... Um, Anvil, 
then like you're in start end and then just below that should be like inventory features attributes that kind of thing so you don't have to have your character up to roll I forgot that was something I added, okay? <laughs> I forgot! I don't typically play with that active because I've never seen it before. They updated the whole system yesterday, so I had to relearn everything, okay? Hey, a 19. Nice. Well, it rolled a 19. <laughs> it is important. Yes, you got a 22. Anybody else want to go ahead and roll their initiative? Yes. Takari is going first, it's right at the second with her 26. <laughs> All right, I still haven't gotten Dareth or Hawk's initiative. It's okay. All right, so for this encounter, Takari goes first, um, starting with Takari. So my love, you would just use, you should be able to go into your spell book and use, what are we what, holding on? Sorry. Oh. Somebody asked us to wait a second. <laughs> I thought he already did his intro. <laughs> Well, while that's happening, I'm going to do another math real quick. That seems like a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Just as a random small creature. It was just like, dude. Okay.
Yes. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yep, it said, all right, I'm done. You want to, it's, it said, oh, we're going to play D&D &D now? Never mind. Should I mount? No thanks. question um just ignore the fact that it's cold um <laughs> right now uh i wouldn't worry about the fact that it looks like it's snowing and stuff like that Your third. Oh, snap. 20. Who are you attacking? Right. So you just need to tell me who you're actually attacking. <laughs> the spider? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you just tell me. So you did hit, so you rolled for three damage of necrotic. So, is that the end of your turn? Do you have anything else you can do? So, the way the turns go, you've got movement, you have one action, you have a bonus action, and I believe that's it. Um... So, right, level ones typically don't have anything bonus action wise, um, but you are allowed to move up to your speed 
if you'd like to. And each box is five feet. Okay. Row ahead. Your turn. I like that your character flipped. That was cool. Cool. Um, you hit for eight. Very nice. All right. Smacking that spider. Is that it? Hawk, your turn. You're okay. So what's the question? They're, they are in your inventory. Like equipped or okay so on D, D beyond you don't have anything but the leather equipped so <laughs> so here's how you equip on foundry okay when you pull up your character sheet you go under inventory on there's a shield icon Yeah, like, I'm looking at Hawk right now, and I've got crossbow, hand axe, rapier, longbow. You just have to click the shield to equip it. <laughs> so, I'm looking at you right now. You have, you have leather armor. You can click that shield, and it'll click, and it'll stop adding new equipment. Okay, right below the equipment, it doesn't say shield or leather. I'm going to pull... I'm pulling you up right now. Weird. That's weird, because on my screen, I've got that you've got stuff. Let me try re-uploading your character. Okay, I re-imported your character. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So
Ooh, that is a miss. Your six did not hit. I'm sorry. Why do you keep working? <laughs> All right. Uh, next is the giant octopus who is has 10 movement 5 10 yeah each box is 5 feet <laughs> I don't know who Menda Chur is, but thank you for the follow. Okay. <laughs> it's a lurking account. I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay. All I know is that suddenly my Pikachu thing went off and I was super excited. <laughs> um, so, 15 feet, 5, 10. All right. Guess what? You're getting attacked at with tentacles. Ooh, it's gonna hit you with its 20 to hit. And it rolled 10 damage. It hit Rohead. That is, this is just a play encounter. It's not actually gonna do anything. This is to teach you stuff. <laughs> It almost won't hurt you, is what I'm seeing. Yeah. So. Whew. All right. It does not have a second attack. So, next is Dareth. Um, just a reminder, if you're going to attack something, you can press... T on it. If you click on the like the giant spider and press T, it'll target it. So it should automatically throw the dice at that creature. Oh, you did. You hit. Very nice. And you rolled eight damage. Perfect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was it was more of a I was I didn't ex notice it show that it had hit on my screen. I went, oh, <laughs> I promise that's all. The goat it's the goat's turn. The goat is just gonna move one, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Now here's the thing with movement. Okay. If you're moving diagonally, the first diagonal is 5, and then the second diagonal is 15, and then it's 5, and then it's another fifth, another 10. So it's 5 and then another 10 to move diagonal. All right, the goat's not doing anything because it's a goat. Del Malos, your turn, my dear. <laughs> yes, and then you're going to place it over the where the octopus is. It's a it's a 20 foot square, I believe. Yeah. How is that? So this one doesn't have a an actual roll. This just makes them restrained, so they have to use a strength save to get out of it. Is that 20 by 20? Yeah, it is. Wow. Look at that. Uh, 
All right. James Rams, it is your turn. Okay, so you can drag it over. Now each block is five feet, so you should have a, a speed of, looking at your character sheet, you've got 30 feet. There you go. All right. You hit for five damage, very nice, very nice. All right, Vokon, it's your turn. Your turn. Did I say that right? Vokan. Okay. Ooh, ooh. I would like you to roll another d20 if possible, please. Not certain. Where did my you said backslash? Roll d20. Sorry. The first time I did it, oh, that no, did, okay. The first time I did it, it told me that was not available. So, thank you. Yeah. So, Um, the little dots that have their have your names on them that kind of shows us where you guys are looking. So like I see Zip looking at at Derek and I see Aqua Bandit over on the spider and you know that kind of thing. All right. Um, you manage to hit the ground at Rohead's feet instead of Rohead. That's how badly you failed. <laughs> and it is now the giant spider's turn. All right. Ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Afro circus, afro circus, afro da poke da poke da afro. All right, we rolled a twenty. We got a critical strike on my dear Mister Rowhead. You are taking. You're down. Sir is. Sir is. Down, minus 11 health puts you at 11, negative. You are not dead, you are unconscious. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, wait a minute. First of all, that was my bad. You have four health again. Because the spider wasn't allowed to attack yet, it was still entangled. It has to do its strength save. It did succeed, but that is its entire roll. That's its entire turn. That was my bad. Takari, it's your turn again. Uh, so the spider, the spider definitely has some scratches. It's bleeding from places, but um, it still looks pretty okay just over half I would say um, and the octopus uh, it looks like you barely touched it and the goat looks like it's not been touched at all <laughs> this is 
is literally just a learning experience. Um, the fights won't be this hard, I promise. Especially with those being crazy behind me. <laughs> yep. He says he can hit it. Tap that goat. Tap that goat. <laughs> It's a good thing that uh, you haven't attacked the spider. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of learning the boundary and how this will look and stuff. All right, Takari, my love. <laughs> it does. So one good way to think about it is um, every turn is like eight is not even a second. Is it five to six? I thought it was like, I'm thinking rounds. Each round is less than a minute or something like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, I don't have an overlay, so I... It's Takari. She was trying to say something, but she's been really quiet because her hurt her throat. Takari, my love, I'm sorry. Yes, just let me know who you're you're targeting before you do your attack. Okay. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, there it is. Cool. All right, you did, you hit, by the way, um, and then you did 14 whole damage. Very nice, very nice. Listen, the spider is looking fairly haggard all of a sudden. Like, like it's like you've got ice knives like piercing through things, it's bleeding all over the place. It's looking haggard. Go ahead. Go ahead. Alright, how do you want to kill it?
Perfect. So you manage to launch yourself over, and as you're coming down, it looks up just enough that when your axe comes down, it splits right through each half of his eyes. Big old skull on his face. All right. Hawk, your turn. <laughs> Shinobi is Hawk. <laughs> He's Hawk. That's okay. It's your turn, my darling. Hello. <laughs> you put your right mic in, you put your right mic out, you put your right mic in, and you shake it all about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Show us how to do it now. <laughs> Do you want me to go ahead and roll the long bowl for you? Okay. It hits level for nine whole damage. All right. It looks like it's still above half health, but it's starting to come down. All right. It is now the giant octopus's turn. He does have to make a saving throw. For any action, because you have him restrained, he can't do nothing. So, he rolled. Not enough, so he is still in restraint. Let me make sure that I put this. You know what's really fun? I believe that restrained means that you guys get an advantage on attacks against him. Melee attacks. Derek, your turn. <laughs> All right, roll a 20 for me. You just said D20. You got a slash roll space D20. <laughs> I was like, what happened? <laughs> hey, all right. You did not hit James Bands in the back of the head. <laughs> it whizzed past, whizzed past, didn't hit anything. Whew. <laughs> Nah, nope. Nope. All right, the goat is going to come over here and eat some grass. It has no idea what's happening. <laughs> Del, Del Malos, your turn.
So right now I would say that we are in snow, but it's on like a, like a, yeah, an earthy, <coughs> like, kind of think like a tundra in Minecraft is how I'm, is how I'm figuring it. Hi, Shelby. That would be fine. Okay. All right, so. No, but what I am gonna let you do is I'm gonna have you roll a, what is typically just a throwing a random object, which I think is a D4. <laughs> Slash, roll, space, D4. <laughs> One damage. That works. You did something. You did something. All right, James Bams, what you gonna do? Beautiful. Oop. Either way, you hit it both times. Um, boosh, boosh. All right. Why would he have advantage if you don't mind me asking? It is, you're right. You are right. You're right. You got a six in damage. So you rolled an 18 to hit both times. Um, and you did six damage. All right, Vulcan, your turn, my dear. Vulcan punch. Roll a 20 for me. <laughs> Aqua's got like four health left. He needs to run away. Jams. You took three damage from a javelin to the knee. <laughs> Put him down. All right, Takari, it is your turn. I need to make a dexterity save. So bear with me while I make it in the save. Dexterity save. All right, he failed, so he takes that whole of 13 damage that you rolled. All right, he is getting bloody, my guy, my dears. It's a giant octopus who's been trying to eat you guys. All right, Rohead, your turn. You hit for 10. Very nice, very nice. All right. 
So, okay. So, Rohead comes up. He slings his his axe and manages to cut through three tentacles, taking him down. So both of them are dead. Now I guess if if Hawk wants to go for the goat, I know Derek's turn is next after Hawk, and he's gonna go for it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well we're gonna take a break here in a second anyway. My spouse just got home, so I'll be right back. See if you get a, a one again. Sure, go ahead. Go ahead, Derek. Go ahead. Try again. <laughs> okay you actually hit that time all right you did kill the goat it went right through right between the sh the the ribs through the the lungs it was beautiful All right, we're gonna do a break time. All right, now we we'll right back.
Realistic is no fun, though. Oh, I got you. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's okay. Um, if we need to, um, you know, postpone for actual, like, going until next week, see what we can do about his computer, that's fine. Got it. Never mind then. Um, Mm -hmm. Gotcha. For some reason, I was ex I was thinking we were talking about like, like a malware thing. Gotcha. Right. I can hear you now. Since we haven't actually started the campaign, I'm absolutely for it. Same with Mendez. If he wants to Mending does um like like items. Okay. 
So, like I had said before, we're going to be um, basically going through a um, critical role. <laughs> we're going to be going through what is basically a critical role campaign. It was written by Matt Mercer and some others. I am going to change up some things so that we're not just completely following what they were going through. So um, one of the things I did was I changed a lot of the city names, a lot of the island names, a lot of the people names, and I'm actually moving our, our campaign from Alexandria to Faerun just so that we're not still following Critical Role completely. Um, Um, critical Role, for those who don't know, are, it is the, like, number one streamed D&D right now. They're, like, one of the top groups that play Dungeons & Dragons uh, at the moment. I have no idea. at this point. It has. <laughs> like, for fuck's sake. What girl moans like that? Come on now. <laughs> so, like I said, I have, you know, I am taking some of this from Critical Role, um, but I am trying to t put a spin on it. <laughs> um, so I'm t putting our own little spin on it so that it's still in the regular, um, like, mainstream Dungeons and Dragons world, but different, a little bit. Um, so... I did talk to everybody regarding a uh, a reason why you guys are going to the Northern Isles. Um, some of you are searching for someone who is near dear to your heart, someone who is near dear to their death, um, who you're looking for. <laughs> um, you know, just a whole bunch, there's been a whole bunch that's brought you all this way. So, to start us out, um, you are, I'm going to say, I'm not sure which ones of you, just because I didn't think that far ahead, but.
but <laughs> some of you are actually already in the town of Drifted. Drifted Village. Um, and some of you are just coming up. Uh, snow gently falls from the sky and wind bites your cheeks as you stand in the stand outside of the town or in the village of Drifton. A caravan of sorts is seen on on the horizon heading towards the town. Um, Drifton is a small town of six or seven buildings uh, right off the coast. It has a large uh, like boat house where people take the boats to get to the isles the, itself. Drifton itself is actually part of the, the regular continent um, of Faerun, or Faerun, however you want to say it. Um, listen, I don't know how to say that word. I'm just going to go with it. Faerun is how I've always said. Okay, Faerun is how I always say it. Um, <laughs> Okay, so it's on the corner, the edge of Faerun near Liskin. Or Luskin. Luskin? Luskin. It's near Luskin at the top corner of the continent. It is just so outside of the normal map that it can only get its supplies through caravan. So that's why this caravan is here. Um, you should be able to. Um, what I'll do is I'll just pull up a map of, because I'm changing things, I'll pull up a map of Faerun. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I believe I've already got one. Let's see. Here it is. Give me a second. I'm fixing the lighting right now. Your, your character isn't actually on the screen, that's why. Okay. So this right here is um, Neverwinter. Um, it's not the full map, but at least it gives you something to kind of look at. So it's to the north. The north will have a whole bunch of ice. Um, I will find a large regular version of the map. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we For the love of all that is holy, why is this not working? It's 
stop. Pop it. Yes. Sorry, I'm trying to get a better picture up on the screen. <laughs> oh god that did not work um yes <laughs> so a caravan is being brought in um Okay. Okay. So this is this looks awful. Um, from Luskin, which is in the top left-hand corner, through the mountains to the town of Drifton. The on the horizon, you can see the caravan is coming. Um, the, those who are in um, who are in Drifton know that they are excited, waiting for it to happen. They're waiting for this caravan to show up. Um, it is like a huge deal, this, this caravan. So as the caravan gets closer, the snow kind of seems to move in your uh, in your sight to the left to the right and it seems to kind of be moving towards the uh, the path that the caravans taking and as it gets closer it gets closer uh, people in the town are starting to murmur like that's kind of weird and fire erupts from one of the caravan as the Derek, what did you do? I'm just kidding. Um, as, <laughs> so as, you know, screams start happening and the, that one caravan explodes outwards and, you know, horses are screaming, the mules are screaming and all hell breaks loose, breaks loose. Um, I want about half of the party already being in Drifton. Who wants to be in Drifton? Okay. All right. So we're going to use this map for now, just because, um, and jams. All right, and then let's see the other four. That's fine. Y'all can be coming into town. So the question now is, are y'all going to jump in and help? To put out the the fire on the caravan. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Which one are we talking about?
Yes, I'm asking both groups. Because the ones that are walking into town are, um, technically they're closer to the, the action anyway. Okay. All right. Um, so three of you are on the good spectrum, Mendez, Hawk, and Takari, you three on the on the good. Um, Rowhead is neutral. Dareth is evil. Boken and James Bams are also neutral. Yes, I'm sorry. Most of y'all are are chaotic of some sort. And then you've got the one neutral good guy. Mm-hmm. Yep, the rest of you are like chaotic of some sort. <laughs> so... So then... I think Aqua said he's not gonna fuck with it. Dare says he's not gonna fuck with it. <laughs> okay. Fuck them kids. All right, well then. <laughs> so, as the, the fire is, you know, attacking, you do notice seven people like going up and slashing people um trying to take the caravans and shoving people into the snow as they bleed to death um it is a bandit attack not an aqua bandit <laughs> We'll call these ice bandits. Oh, it's audible. You're hearing things, people scream and the horses and stuff are screaming and you definitely can hear it. He's gone. <laughs> Hashtag free Josh. Josh, go away. <laughs>
I have money. <laughs> I got buddy. Okay, coming for you. Yep, roll initiative, my friends. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to give y'all a chance to, you know, organize how y'all are going to be standing there. Nice. All right. Okay. Takari, is that where you want to be for this fight? <laughs> right. Hypnotic, you were trying to say something. What happened? Let's begin this combat, and the first to go is a bandit. Who's gonna go? Money? I'm gonna go, oh shit. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, I'm sorry, the bandit bandit. Sorry, my bad. Yes, so I'm gonna try and always call you by your character names. 
So, Vulcan, you are hit for five damage, my friend. He smashes you with a hand axe. All right. James Bams. Your character doesn't actually have a, a name right now, so I've just been calling him Jam. Um, you're first. You're next. Okay. Okay. All right. You hit six damage. Very nice. <laughs> no more hitting in the knee, I promise. All right, it is now this bandit's turn. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, he's gonna try to get jam. Jam Bams, not Hawk, this one. Alright, he does hit you, Jams, for seven. So he just kind of slashes at you and manages to catch you across the chest. <laughs> I used to be an adventurer like you till I took an arrow to the knee. All right. Next is Captain James Hawk Kirkard. Kirkard, sorry. All right, you do hit him, and are you smacking him with the crossbow, or are you just shooting point blank? Okay. All right. So you just smacked him straight across the jaw with, with the crossbow, and he just kind of, you hear a crack, and he falls over dead. Oh, ow. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's going to kick his friend out of the way. The dead body. Get out of the way, dead body. Going to target. I'm sorry, we're going to come down one. I'm sorry. We're going to target. And. Oh, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. We'll, we'll we'll get rid of that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I believe that is correct, but let me look at Missy Sep. Missy Sep, they have to move her feet. Have to move her feet. It says up to 30 feet. Oh, okay. I thought it was the yeah. What was the up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space that you can see to say a bonus action. Yes. It doesn't for sure. It doesn't. Okay. It does not actually move there. Where did you go? Oh, down there. Okay. Sorry, on my screen I couldn't see you. Alright, now it's the bandit's turn. Bandit's gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 
gonna hit Voken for six points of damage. Voken, you were getting hurt, man. Take that that uh, barbarian um, anger, right? It's your turn. Uh oh. Okay, that actually gives me perfect timing to feed my dogs real fast. So while you're getting your stuff back up. I know, you're so excited. It's dinner time. I know, I know. What happened? Yeah, it's it's recent. So you have to, when it's another player, you have to have permission to read their... So you have to... Right, but you have to have their permission as a player character to read their thoughts. Possibly. No, you have to ask Zip. You have to, yeah, you have to ask the player. Yeah. That way you're not doing like God modding or anything. You missed. Where's that barbarian strength, yo? <laughs> well, a lot of a couple of the bandits rolled twos. All right, Derek, your turn. <laughs> they were already like writing and stuff. It is five gold, five whole gold. things. <laughs> he missed. He tried to hit him with a war pick and missed.
Um, it looks like he's... Oh, yeah, he's playing with the ruler. Why are you heading towards the dead one? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. You got a critical. All right. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, let's see, I should be able to fix how you, are you able to just roll the damage on your, your short bow? It's a 1d6, so you're going to do 2d6. Plus 3. So you rolled a 13. Very nice. And you said you were hitting the bandit captain? Very nice shot. So it hits his shoulder. He goes, ugh, rude. Put the back. All right, Derek, was that the end of your turn? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. We don't like the dragonborn. Hop, if you and I are gonna fight and miss with. Row ahead. They're bandits. Okay. You weren't offered gold, I get it. All right, bandit captain. Let's see. I am so sorry about the barky dog. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. All right. First, first attack. Ouch. There's a hoppip in my face. Scimitar. Ooh. Rude. That was a fun roll. <laughs> no, but he did manage to miss himself as well. So he didn't manage to stab himself. Um, rudeness. Stop. There's no reason for you to be a brat. Anyway, because he has a uh, multi attack. So he makes three attacks with his two attacks with his scimitar and one with his daggers. He still misses with the scimitar and then manages to attack you with a dagger and he hits for five damage. Uh, he still looks pretty good. Um, you'd say estimations wise, 
roughly three quarters of his health still. All right. Yep. Takari. So who are you targeting? I'm sorry. The captain? Okay. So, yes. All right. So um, you did miss. So unfortunately, your chill touch just... Why do I feel like chill touch is a... Oh, a skeletal hand comes up and touches. Okay. Got it. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking you had to, like, physically touch him. Um, so, you did miss, so the hand just kind of whiffs past his head. All right, it's now 5, 10, 15. Scimitar! He fails! So the next main this turn. 5, 15, 20, 25. Scimitar! He also failed! <laughs> Alright, Del Melos. So you managed to kind of help put out one of the caravans, but the remaining people who were alive driving the caravans have been working to put it out. Oh, All right, really, really quick. Um. Five words. Five words is all you can do in one turn before it uses your entire action. There you go. <laughs> Do I can. Yes. All right, jams. Your turn. Be the barbarian you're supposed to be. Six. Which one are you attacking? The one right in front of you? <laughs> All right. James, is that the last, the last of your turn? Do you have... Um, now, moving when there's an enemy right next to you will cause an opportunity attack. Oh. It would still offer the opportunity attack, gives them the chance to possibly break out. Oh, My goodness.
especially because a couple of you guys haven't played before, I'm totally okay with giving options and like helping discuss things. So, yeah, like, All right, so then it's the bandit that you attacked. So he is going to return fire. Blam. And, oh, you're right. I keep doing that. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm <sighs> that one, that one and the captain. Here, I'm going to really quickly just add in restrained. Restrained. All right. They are all restrained. My word. Okay. Strength check. Oops. Just the one by you. That's the... So strength save, not a regular strength throw. Strength saving throw. All right, he does manage to get out of it, but that's his whole turn. All right. Hawk. I'm so I'm sorry that it's so difficult on you. We're on the road to Viridian today. <laughs> All right, you hit for five whole de seven whole damage. Good job. I can hear you. Oh. All right. Um, is that your whole turn? Okay. All right. This one. Has to strength saving throw. Ooh, failure. All right, Boken. Oh no, the Missy's. It was the uh, restraint. You're gonna invoke rage. Roll a 20 for me. <laughs> 14. All right. You did not manage to hit anybody with it. So luckily it just kind of glances across the, the snow instead of like hurting anyone. Yourself included. Darius, your turn. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. Yes. No, well, so you missed each step, which is a bonus action. You only said two words. So you do technically have a regular action. Okay. You miss. Why did you roll a four? No, that's only if you rolled a 20 or if you rolled a one. That's the only reason I would make you roll again. No, you're fine. It's fine. You guys still getting used to getting used to me. It's fine. All right. Ah, oh, fucking Christ. Well, no, he needs to roll a strength save. Okay, he succeeded. <laughs> Rowhead, are you still going to sit there and do nothing? You don't get any experience. I know you wouldn't know that, but. <laughs> What's happening here? Let's see. How badly are you bleeding? <laughs> oh, look at this stuff. <laughs> Isn't it neat? <laughs> All right, it's the captain. Gosh. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. <laughs> Boosh. Ooh, he hit hard for seven damage. So Derek has been knocked unconscious. Next turn, he will be required to do death saves. The bandit captain's just gonna laugh at you and then look at, at uh, Dil Marlos and say, you're next. Takari, you're next. <laughs> Um, there are two. So this one in front of Hawk. I'm going to move him a little so that you can see him. And then this one in front of Jams has also been hit. So those two have been hit. Melee attack with it against one creature. So you have to be within five feet of it. Yes, you would have to move. You'd have to move into that green square. 
or where James Bam's, where his uh, little green cursor thing is, you could be there. There you go, and now you're within range. Now you need to make a, uh, you don't have to review it, but what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, roll an attack. So it should be, let me um, equip your, you have nothing on you. She doesn't have any items or anything. So for some reason it didn't take, so let me import your character again so that it gives you your, your item again. There we go. Equip your stop with the fence. Okay. Okay. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go, you're going to roll to attack. Oh, I didn't mean to do that for you. I'm sorry. Um, so you're going to roll the staff of defense to attack, and then we're going to add a 1d8 fire damage on top of it. Very nice. Got a crit. Very, very nice. So... Now we're going to have you, we're going to do, 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 do. So. All right. So what you're going to do is in the little box down below, just type in slash roll space D eight. And that'll be how much, um, fire you're also doing. D eight. Mm -hmm. whoop, whoop. So you did a whopping six whole damage to that bandit. And guess what? You seared his face off. All right. So I'm so sorry. my dogs. All right. Um, next is a bandit. It's this bandit, I believe. Yes, it's this one. Who is going to make a strength saving throw. See if he succeeds. He did not. So he is still restrained. It is now the bandit that's not restrained it is going to scimitar on um, Hawk. He's going to miss. Del Melos, it is now your turn, my friend. So you're what you're you're currently standing on um, a whole lot of snow, ice, <coughs> compacted, frozen earth because y'all are right outside of the town. to know about using Entangle.
Okay, you should still have one. Basically what happened was I didn't give you guys a long rest after our fake encounter. So that's what happened. I'm sorry. So you do have one. So if you double click, you should be able to see movement and you do in fact have 30. So he would, um, he would no longer have to do death saving throws, yes. basically kept him in, in place at least for one turn. So you would just have to pull your character. It's now Jam's turn. The guy in front of you is dead. You are hurting. You'll be all right. Spoken like a true barbarian. Just a flesh wound. missed. All right. Hawk. Your turn. Yes. Uh, nope. <laughs> Are you going to do anything else? Okay. All right. Then it is this bandit's turn. He has to try to escape. He fails, I believe. Yep. All right. Boken. You got this. I, I just... Dude, we're gonna have to, like, figure out what's going on with your dice. Alright, you don't manage to hit anybody. Yourself included. All right, Derek, my dear friend, you need to make a death save. <laughs> 
Hey. I don't know why it rolled twice, but you got one. All right, one positive. You need three total. All right. This bandit is going to attack the jams, bams. Bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Dot. And I believe that missed. It did indeed. All right, go ahead. You got a guy dying behind you. You got people dying in front of you. What's going on? <laughs> Aw. You hit for 12 damage. Let's see. Where's that bandit? Is that bandit? Bandit. Bandit. In fact, you joined in so hard that you cleaved that guy's skull from his head. <laughs> All right, the bandit captain's turn. I am really sorry about the, the dog. Guys. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. All right, and he managed to succeed. <laughs> you killed his goat. <laughs> Takari, it's your turn. <laughs> You killed his goat. <laughs> I don't know if you'll know. Um, none of the people around you. Well, I mean, I mean, okay, three of the teammates were in town, but I don't know if they would know. We will after the fight. Yes. What are you looking at? Okay, so it's a 15 foot cube. So you're basically going to draw a 15 foot cube in front of you and anything in that 15 foot gets hit, including allies. Very nice. Look at your critical 11 damage. Who did you attack? That one? Okay. Well, guess what? You managed in one full blow. You tore a hole through his stomach and he fell over dead and crispy. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. <laughs> All right. Um, this bandit, considering that there are two others left, is going to attempt to run away. Hawk, do you want to use your opportunity attack? Uh, okay. As a melee weapon. Got it. <laughs> 14. 
14 hits for eight damage. You do. So as he turns away, you manage to clip the back, that back artery along the back of his head that severs all of his nerves, and he just falls paralyzed to the ground and dies. <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> Alright, Dill. Unless unless Hawk wants <laughs> Man, crossbows are heavy. Alright. Dill, it's your turn. People are dying left and right. You've got <coughs> It's not. It's a level one. <laughs> Heal him. Yeah. But that would also mean you have to go over there next to the blood captain. So, if you remember your um, entangle, it creates a tough terrain anyway. So, his movement in those spots is uh, he has to use double movement. So, it'd be 10 to move one spot. I miss. Hello, little folio. Welcome in. Um, through the snow, I'm gonna say you. Honestly, I don't think you would with how much snow is there. Um, are you clicked on the token controls over on the, the top over there? On the top left? Okay. Make sure you're on the token controls. That should be how you move your, your character. There you go. You miss. <laughs> well, based on what you just rolled, you rolled a zero for damage. All right, jams. Jams, bands. You got one bandit and one bandit captain. You criticaled him for six whole damage. Look at you. All right. For the bandit captain. Bandit captain. Oh, absolutely. 
So the javelin, um, based on the damage, it clipped his side. And so he's got a nice scratch along his hip. All right, Capt, Captain Hawk, your ten. Yes, the dead, the dead. They are the dead. In fact, here we'll we'll go ahead and move all the dead into one spot. You're welcome. Those are all dead. Captain Hawk's not even gonna take the rapier, he's just gonna use the fucking... Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. This entire fight just beating people up the head. You missed. <laughs> well, this bandit is still stuck. Vulcan. Remember you've got advantage on this on this attack against the restrained foe. It doesn't matter, you hit him. Yeah, if you want to roll to see if you get a crit. You did not. That's fine. So, 10 damage. So, basically, what just happened is you took off an arm, but he is still standing by the grace of God itself. Somehow he's still standing. All right, Dareth, roll me another death save. Ah. Yep. <laughs> All right, two saves. One more, and then you're you're automatically up yourself. All right, Rohead. <laughs> Who needs a cleric? <laughs> Six damage you hit. Very nice. So you, he gets another scratch, and he's like, ugh. You're first. <laughs> is that is that the all end of your turn? Okay. So, bandit captain, scimitar. Wait, scimitar first. A ten. Does that hit you? Because I don't have your. It does not. Perfect. All right, great. I'm gonna target you this time. Um. Targeting you this time, for another scimitar strike. For. Five damage. And then last hit with some lovely, lovely daggers. Yeah, he gets three hits and he missed. <laughs> That's why Derek went down. <laughs> Alright, Takari. Do it. Shink, shink. Got some Zoro shit going on in here. Hey, 
<laughs> I hear nothing if she's talking. Nice. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Who rolled once this entire time? Wasn't it Harris? Will Will Smudge take the? Oh. Will Smudge the entire stream? move with your arrow keys. You just need to attack with your your staff. All right. So you hit. Um. It's fine. And honestly, he had one health left, so I'm just gonna. He's dead. You managed to with your staff. A fire at this point slash right through his <laughs> it's on fire somebody gave her fire all right dill mellows your turn <laughs> You missed. No. All right, Jams. Nope, you got the one captain. actually manage to yeah you hit Because Dareth is down, no. If, if, yeah. Um, if Dill was one over, Rohead would have advantage because they'd be flanking. But because Dareth is down, Jams does not have advantage. All right. So that did hit. You did eight damage.
So he seems to have just hit half health. All right, Hawk. Hawk, it's your turn. Yeah, I was at the end of this fight, I was gonna call it. I'm sorry, it took so long. Well, honestly, I typically try to keep my D&D sessions about three hours. So, um, if you want jams, what I'll do is I'll take over. If you have another turn, I'll kill, I'll attack for you. But you go ahead and head to bed and if we gain any experience, I'll let you know. Yep, you can just leave. Night! <laughs> Night. Yep. Okay. What you got, Hawk? Dareth. Right. Um, his armor is, yes, it's fifteen. I understand. Yep. Now you have advantage, yes. So, what'd you roll? Rolled a... You got a crit. Very nice. Yes, you did. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead and roll again, and I'll just leave. Um, you did hit. So there's a 7, and then um, 10, so 17 so far. All right. So he is definitely starting to look bloody, starting to look a bit haggard. All right, Dareth, last... Last save. Ooh, that is a negative two. I'm not going to insta kill you. Okay. Typically with death saves, um, a one is a critical fail and an instant death done. Um, I don't do that. 
I would I would Chain rather up. give you the chance to come back up. So you've got one more turn. Chain up. A one on death save is that they get two fails. Well, that's it's how I'm a, doing it is two fails. It's not an innocent death. That's not how it's written in the book. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. Because I have both Josh and Aqua getting angry at me. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Rohead, it's your turn. Yeah. Yeah. He was behind me. Hashtag free Josh. He, he put that in the chat earlier. I'm, I'm sorry you missed it. Yeah, I've I've only got one up on my phone. All right, Rohead, your turn. Get him. Make sure you target him with teeth. Target him with teeth. That's a. N How the fuck did you hit? You rolled a nine. Oh, you've got plus five and plus two. Okay. So, I'm going to take that first damage of 11. <laughs> Alright, he is really looking haggard now. Like, end of life. Like, he's struggling. So. Alright. So. He's actually going to turn on James Bams because he, no he noticed that... James had gotten hit a couple times. Not, not him. James Bam. And then Scimitar. Ooh, a crit. And James is down. James is down for 15. So he is also, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's a CR3. Alright, and then he's going for Vulcan. With a hit for 6 damage on Vulcan. Dude. It does. And <laughs> then it's Mendez. All right, Del. All right, he did. He did five damage. Bear, you're you're barely above half. Yes. <laughs> he's he's gonna take as many as you fuckers with him as he can. <laughs> He went shing shing fall fall. <laughs> it took <laughs> Takari, it's your turn. <laughs> no. She, all right, you did chill touch. All right, for five damage, and guess who dies? So, the, the creepy hand kind of caressed and then just grabbed his neck and strangled as he turned blue. He falls to his death. Yay! <laughs> that was supposed to be a small fight. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of you. There's... There's a lot of you. <laughs> there are a lot of you. Okay. So I'm going to do some calculations for experience, and we're actually just going to call it there for now. Um, 
because I also have to get ready for my first day at work tomorrow. So, thank you. Thank you. I have to be up there at seven o'clock. Yay. So, sure, who are we raiding? Who are we, who do we want to discuss uh, rating first? Anybody got anyone? Um. I'm gonna really quickly shout out to some people's shout out. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do some. I'm gonna do some shout outs myself. Shout out. Oh, absolutely. They've already taken it back. Wow. They um, did a whole bunch of like changes that they were. Yeah. More than like 3% of your stream screen. Yeah, it was. We're all about to raid out. I've got 10 seconds and then I'm ready to raid. <laughs> I'm ready. Did he already do it? Oh, well then. All right. Three, two, one, I'm rating.
Love you. Thank you for joining.